Hi everyone, I hope you've all enjoyed making the pot and the zip purse and the bag over the last few weeks. I've had quite a few inquiries from people asking about how they can adjust the pattern to make it bigger or smaller. I just wanted to talk to you about how you can use pretty much any box that you have or even a bag uh, in your house to make a pattern and just to give you the idea of what size it might be. This one here, for example, is a, um, a box that would translate to uh, this one here. You can see the sides are quite similar. Um, if you were to cut it down shorter, um, if we turned it up this way, it would in actual fact make one about this size. This little purse here uh, would translate to something um, from something like this. So very similar in shape and size. Um, this one would make a very cute little purse. This box here is um, from an old electrical item. This one here also um, was a box and I folded it out to be pretty much the same shape as what you would need. So I'm just gonna run you through how you would actually do that. This was a wheat bix box. So you can see, and I've already cut it. Um, so I've cut straight halfway down the side here and cut across the bottom halfway. So that was what the box looked like before I cut it in half. So this is the shape that we actually end up with here, which is pretty much the same as the shape that our pot, our zip purse and our bag um, is. Now what I've done is I've drawn that onto a piece of paper and then I've drawn around the edge, adding the seam allowance. If you don't add the seam allowance, it's gonna end up smaller than what your original is. Um, so you can see there that I've put the seam allowance on the side, the top and the bottom. Now our pot and our zip purse, we actually put the bottom part on the fold. So if you were going to be wanting to put it on the fold, you just would not add the centimetre seam allowance to the bottom. This one here is a little pot that's pretty much the same size, a little bit smaller than this um, tissue box here. So I've just got one that I have flattened out here like this. So you just um, break it apart, fold it out, and you can see here that we would just, I've just measured halfway between the sides here and same on the other side. And then on the bottom, you just have to make sure that your measurement here is the same as your measurement here. Then you would add your seam allowances, one centimeter on the bottom if you are going to have a seam, uh, one centimeter on the sides and in the corners here, and then you've basically got your pattern. Um, this one here is a bag that is, uh, so it's a bag like that. I've opened it out. And so this is the size of the bag. And then I have just drawn, you can see I've cut it, drawn halfway down here, gone across there and onto the bottom. And that now will be our pattern. You would need to, once again, add your seam allowances. This, um, if you wanted it to be as tall as this one is, I have used the base here like that. So this one would actually only be that high because your measurement from the, the height of it would be um, from this corner here because that is the, I've measured it so that that would be the base just to make it a little bit easier. Um, now I just want to say one thing, if you are going to use a fabric that has direction, so it has a pattern that is a one way pattern, you need to cut your pattern with a seam allowance on the bottom and cut out two pieces. Uh, if you were going to be using a pattern that had a one way and you did in fact put it on the fold, you would end up with your pattern on the right side, uh, going the right way on one side and it would be upside down on the other side. So it's essential that you cut your pattern with the seam allowance on the sides and the bottom when you have fabric that is directional. Now I had quite a few people asking me about um, this little bag here that I made from the back of a pair of pants. Now 
I actually have my own uh, pattern that I use for that one. But basically, if you were to use this Weepix box pattern and fold out a section out of the center, like what I've done here. So I have folded a chunk out of this middle here. It needs to be parallel all the way down. Um, and then I have placed it onto here. So basically what you would do is you would fold out uh, whatever you needed to to be able to fit it onto the bottom of um, your pants piece. And that then gives you this um, pretty cool effect with the pocket on the outside here. You could actually use that um, as a lining as well. So um, I hope that helps you get some idea of how you can adjust your patterns and um, inspires you to create more.